In livestock lineup, Farmer John's eight cows are going to be milked. These cows are picky, so they want to find an order in which they can be milked so that all of their restrictions are fulfilled. So these cows are going to give us a couple restrictions in the format X must be milked besides Y, and we want to find the alphabetically lowest combination of the cows so that all of the restrictions are fulfilled. And we're just going to print out the ordering of the cows. So let's go look at the algorithm for this question. The simplest way to solve this question is to just loop through all of the permutations. What we're going to do is we're going to loop through all of the different permutations of the eight cows in alphabetical order. That way, not only do we get the first answer as the smallest one alphabetically, but also we're able to check every possibility. For every one of these possibilities, we're also going to loop through all of the restrictions. And for each one, we're just going to very simply check whether or not the restrictions apply in the current value. So what that means is, let's say we only had four cows, just for the sake of simplicity. Well, in that case, what we're going to do is we have these restrictions, and we're just going to loop through the permutations. The first one is going to be A, B, C, D. And then we're just going to loop through the restrictions. A and C, we'll check the indexes of A and C in this current permutation using something like dot find or a built-in function that returns back the index based off the value. And we'll check if these indexes differ by more than one, then we know this is wrong. If they differ by exactly one, so for example, if the index of A is one and the index of C is two, which is not the case here, then we know that the restriction works. So in this case, ABCD does not match here. And then we move on to the second one. So that would be ABDC. Again, the first restriction doesn't work. Then we're going to move on to ACBD. In this case, the first restriction does pass because we know the index of A is going to be zero. The index of C is going to be one. So that differs by one. And then we'll check B and C. Well, C's is one, B's is two. So that also works. And so we found the answer for this small example. And for our program here, we're just going to basically apply this same algorithm to the eight cows of Bessies. So let's go look at the code for this question. We're going to read in the input using cat IO, and I have a function here that basically sets it up. Next, we're going to basically read in the rest of the input. So I'm going to have nb io.nextint, and then I'm going to create an array list called cows, and it's just going to store the current cows. Next, I'm going to create a global value, or two of them, called restrictions A and restrictions B. And then they're going to store the values of the first cow and the last cow for every restriction. We're going to read in the restriction by reading in one value, then reading in four to represent the middle values, and then reading in the last one. And this is going to effectively give us the two cow names. And for these cow names, we're going to add them to restrictions A and B. The next thing we're going to do after reading the input is just going to be to sort the cows. So these cows are going to be the cows here, and we're just going to sort them in alphanumerical order. And, while, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a while loop to go through every permutation of these cows. We're going to create a check function, and if this check function passes, then we're going to print the cows, which basically means this current combination of cows works as an answer. And if it doesn't work, then we're going to continue on, and we're going to make cows the permutations value as of cows. At the very end, we're going to close the file. We're going to write two functions, our check function and our permutation function. For the check function, it's relatively simple. We're going to create a variable called past, and then for all of our restrictions, we're going to get our two cows. We're going to use find index 
to get the index of the two cows. And then for find index, we're going to write a function for that. And then if the indexes are not, if the absolute value of the difference in the indexes are not equal to one, which basically means if they're not next to each other, since if they're next to each other, the absolute difference is going to be one, then passed is false, this is not a valid combination, and then we break. At the very end, if passed is true, we return true, otherwise we return false. For the find index function, we're just going to loop through the entire array list, and then we're just going to, for every value, check to see if the cow we're looking for is equal to the current value at perm i, since they're all unique, then we're just going to return i. Otherwise, we're going to return negative 1 since we haven't found it. The final thing we need to write for our program is going to be our permutations. For permutations, we're going to create a function here. So in C++ and other languages, there is a built-in permutation function, but in this case, there is not. In Java, what we're going to do is we're just going to find the largest k, where ck is less than ck plus 1. Then we're going to find the last index in which ck is less than that value, and we're just going to swap that value. And what this basically does is it's just going to create a program that keeps swapping the smaller values later on, until we find the next permutation. And then at the very end, we're going to return the next permutation. So that's the end of our program. We're going to start by reading in the input. Since every line is a sentence, we're going to assign a couple of strings. So we need the two cows, and we're going to read in the first cow name. And then we're going to use the variable t to read in all of the words in between, since we don't need those. And then once we've read in the four words, then the next string that we're going to read in is going to be the second cow name. So then we'll be able to push back to the restrictions the two cows that need to be next to each other. The next thing we're going to do is create a vector of the cows. So this is going to contain all of the cows in sorted order, and we're going to create a variable count for our answer for now. The C++ library has a function called next permutation. Next permutation is an in place function, which basically means when we use this function, it's going to sort it in place and we don't need to assign it to anything. So we're going to run this function. And if there is still a permutation after the current permutation we are on, it's going to just change cows to that next permutation. So, for example, if cows is 1, 2, 3, 4, then it would change it into 1, 2, 4, 3. And then if it's on the last permutation, for example, 4, 3, 2, 1, it's just going to return nothing or false and exit the while loop. So, while there is still a next permutation, it's going to change the value of cows to the next permutation. We're going to create a variable called past. And then we're going to loop through all of the restrictions. We're going to get the two cows involved, and then we're going to use the find function. The find function is basically going to be able to loop through every value in cows, and it's going to f return back the index at cows in which the this variable or this value here is. So since we know that cow1 and cow2 are definitely a part of cows, it'll just return back the index of cow1 in the list cows or our current permutation, and then the index of cow2 in our current permutation. Once we have the two indexes, if the absolute value of these indexes are not equal to one, which basically means if the indexes differ by more than one, it means that they're not next to each other, so past is false and this permutation doesn't work. The only restraint we have is that the permutation for every restriction has to have them the two cows next to each other. So as long as one restriction doesn't pass, the entire thing doesn't pass. But in the case it does pass, we're just going to break. Since we want the lexiographically smallest value, that's going to be our answer. And we're just going to output the, every cow inside of our current permutation. And that's the end of our program.